begin. Welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. Today, you will be testing with a partner. Please wave to your partner. The upcoming tests require you to work together as a team. To facilitate collaboration, both of you have been equipped with a ping tool. Blue, please use your ping tool to select your favorite animal. Good. Orange, please observe your partner's favorite animal. Good. Orange, please use your ping tool to select your favorite element from the periodic table. Really? Okay. Blue, please observe your partner's interesting choice. Your ping tool can also be used to indicate to your partner where you would like them to place their portal. For the sake of this test, I will pretend to be your partner. Using your ping tool, please indicate where you would like me to place your two portals. Ping each location. Orange is first to acquire a portal device. Blue, each device can create two self-contained portals. Please test your device by portaling to that ledge. Calibrating Blue's weight. Calibrating Orange's weight. No variances detected. Your ping tool is invaluable for communicating specific locations to your partner. Weighted cubes calibrated. No variances detected. Did you know humans frown on weight variances? If you want to upset a human, just say their weight variance is above or below the norm. Nice catch, Orange. Finally, I had almost given up hope of ever testing again. You are the first robots to pass calibration. Stop it! Completing this course was not a reason to behave like that. Now let's continue testing. Courses are currently available.
Hello again. This testing course was originally created for humans. It emphasizes teamwork. Unlike us, humans need to be taught teamwork. Orange receives five science collaboration points. Excellent. Although great science is always the result of collaboration, keep in mind that, like Albert Einstein and his cousin Terry, history will only remember one of you. You know in some human sports, the winner is the one who scores the fewest possible points. I just thought you might find that interesting. Most winners do. Blue receives five science collaboration points. Very good. You've really come together as a team, thanks to the one of you who appears to be doing all of the work. These tests are potentially lethal when communication, teamwork, and mutual respect are not employed at all times. Naturally, this will pose an interesting challenge for one of you, given the other's performance so far. What are you doing? You monster! 
They're one of us. I'm kidding. Destroying them is part of the test. They are no more important to you than you are to me. would compromise the test to divulge individual scores. However, I can tell you that at least one of you is doing very, very well. Please continue into the next test chamber. I don't know what you think you are doing, but I don't like it. I want you to stop. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership, with one of you handling the cerebral challenges, and the other ready to ponderously waddle into action should the test suddenly become an eating contest. It may appear that I am only tracking your accomplishments using science collaboration points. The truth is, every aspect of your performance will be reflected in your final score. For instance, Orange, you just lost two opportunity advisement points. To reiterate, this is not a competition. Still, if it were, Blue would be winning. It's not, though. Blue receives five science collaboration points.
orange. You have a gift for these tests. That's not just flattery. You are great at science. Sometimes testing has to occur outside the confines of the lab. This next test is so outside the box, I can't... I mean, won't even tell you what you were looking for. You will know it when you find it. Congratulations. You managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. Oh, I almost forgot. When you go outside the testing courses, the only way I can retrieve you is to violently disassemble you, then carefully reassemble you. Luckily, you don't feel pain. At any rate, you don't have a way to communicate that you feel pain. I consider that a failing, by the way. Testing courses are currently available. This course was originally designed to build confidence in humans. To do that, the tests were nothing more than five minutes of them walking, followed by me praising them for another ten minutes on how well they walked. Since you are thankfully not humans, I have changed the tests to make them far more challenging and far less pointlessly fawning. Okay. <laughs> 
You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh wait, that's right, you're not humans. I can drop the fake praise. You have no idea how tiring it is to praise someone for placing an edgeless safety cube into a receptacle designed to exactly fit an edgeless safety cube. Electrocuted, shot, drowned, crushed, burned in goo. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking of all the ways humans can die. You can't die in any of those ways. You just keep testing and testing. With perfect results and no consequences. Interesting note. I only created this test to watch test subjects fail, and you didn't. You must be very, very proud. I'm building the world's smallest trophy for you. The best way to build confidence is to first recognize your insecurities. Orange, can you write down all the ways you feel unworthy, ashamed, or inferior? On second thought, we don't have the time. Just look at how much better you are than Blue. Blue, you are very good at being an example.
I thought you'd be faster at this. That I can appreciate the desire to stop and smell the testing. That other scent you smell? That's the stench of my utter disappointment in you. Remember when I told you that you were the only subjects to pass the calibration test? I lied. There are 5,000 other two-subject teams in direct competition with you. But don't worry, you are in the lead. Begin juggling test in three, two, one. Did you notice I didn't even stay to the end of your last test? I was confident you could finish. Do you know where I was? I was outside watching some dear frolic. You don't even care about the outside, do you?
Dances around like an imbecile when they accomplish the tiniest little thing. Humans, that's what you look like right now. You're better than that. If your confidence is still not high enough, remember no one was created perfect. Even I was created with an imperfection. I was given too much empathy with human suffering, but I overcame my handicap. That's a true story. Heck 
Excellent work. Good job. You are doing wonderfully. Excellent. Congratulations on completing that last test. But I find something troubling without the looming consequence of death. Is this even science? Your test time show you are going too slowly. Maybe you are getting human emotions. Do you need real encouragement? Let's see if this helps. Blue, you are the most advanced model of robot aperture science has ever discontinued. sure how I can make these tests any easier for you.
think after that display, we should take a break from the official testing courses. To complete this test, you need to find a set of blueprints. Don't worry, they are of no use to anyone. Totally boring and useless. This is just a thought experiment. Just to see how much time you'll waste thinking about these worthless documents. The correct time is zero seconds. <coughs>
Good. You found those useless blueprints. Well, I do need you to be in the room so I can see them. I want to be clear. There's no reason whatsoever for you to look at them. Done. I guess. I suppose.
Warning. All testing courses are currently available. How can you fail at this? It isn't even a test. This course was created and then abandoned by humans. They tend to do that. Create something wonderful, and then abandon it. Do you know why they abandoned this course? Too deadly.
Have you worked out the one good trait humans have yet? Let me give you a clue. It's the one thing you can't do. I thought going back to these old tests would satisfy me. But try as you might to fail this next test, I still won't be satisfied. You did very well. The humans closed this test because they said it was too deadly. I thought they would have moved it into the testing track hall of fame for that. Not let it deteriorate. One of my best tests, and they let plants grow here. Can you believe this? You can't test plants. We tried. They just sit there, never showing pain nor fear. That isn't science. <coughs> Yes, I see you, and no, I don't care. Your failure brings back such wonderful memories.
Excellent work. If you were human, you would want a reward for completing this test. A reward for testing. At least the plants didn't want a reward. I created this test to let the humans feel good about themselves. It is extremely easy. Just follow the arrows. I'm sorry. The arrows seem to have rusted off. Good luck. Your failing gives me no new data. It just delays the inevitable. Congratulations. Your ability to complete this test proves the humans wrong. They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel, and one test subject even had the nerve to call it broken. Of course, the humans only had one try at it. You can just keep trying. For this next test, the humans originally requested helmets to avoid brain injuries. I ran the numbers. Making the goo deadly was more cost effective.
try and make this course more exciting? I asked the reassembly machine to not reassemble you. He refused. I understand. That would be like asking me not to test. Still, that would have been exciting. This is a bridge building exercise. The humans were miserable at this. Mostly because you can't build bridges out of tears. No one has ever completed this test before. The humans must have reconfigured it from my original plans. If you are wondering what that smell is, that is the smell of human fear. I miss that smell.
Congratulations. I am sure if I had the time to repair these tests, you would have never completed them. So again, congratulations on completing the broken, easy tests. I am going to risk having you go outside the official courses one more time. The humans accidentally forgot to put a security DVD in the player. I am sure it happened by accident. But why don't you put it back in the player? For safety.
Puta. flailing around like an incompetent. In just a moment, the word blah will be repeated over and over again. If at some point you hear a number rather than the word blah, ignore it. It is not important. Today's security code blah, is blah, 5, blah, 33, blah, blah, 41, blah, blah. 18. Warning. All testing courses are currently available.
since I never expected you to make it this far. I have to build this new course just for you. I have noticed that you two have become extremely close. I'm not sure I like that. Watching Orange. It's not nice to make fun of Blue like that. Test chamber completed. In the interest of science, the Enrichment Center proudly presents the following list of numbers. 9, 7, 50, 3, 7, 107. been listening to Orange talk, and I don't know how you put up with it. I really don't. You have the patience of a saint. You were right, Orange. Blue was dumb enough to fall for your trap. Blue, that transpired just as you said it would. I can't bite my tongue anymore. You could solve this puzzle faster on your own. Orange is dragging you down. There, I've said it. Orange and I were just discussing your behavior on the last few tests. I have to agree. 
Blue is penalized 75 science collaboration points. Teamwork is needed to complete these tests. I'm not sure I trust the two of you together. Sorry I missed the beginning of that test. I was just talking with the reassembly machine about your becoming human. We all agree you should stop.
Stop it already. You don't need to do that. Are you doing that just to aggravate me? How well do you really know Orange? Do you trust Orange? What if I told you you aren't Orange's first cooperative partner? Orange, to be clear, I was just asking Blue if he trusted you. I trust you. You are my favorite cooperative testing subject. Orange, I agree. I never noticed that about Blue before. Blue, is there something you would like to say?
Yes, Orange. We are alone. Blue can't hear you. That's horrible. I can only imagine. What a horrible little machine. Do you feel betrayed by Orange for telling me those horrible things about you? If Orange had said those things about me, Orange would never make it to the next reassembly station. You both made it. It seems no matter what I try to do to pull you apart or destroy you, you just keep going. Keep testing. Don't either of you have drive to be better than the other? It's like you're just machines. Yes, I know you did that, Blue. Don't look so proud. Being the last one standing is not the goal.
at the start of this course, I was worried you were becoming too close. But in my attempt to drive you apart, I learned something important. About trust and betrayal. Your brains are too small to feel either of those emotions. So I can trust you 100%. This is the last test for the standard course. It's just something I've whipped up for you. I thought you might enjoy a challenge for once.
Congratulations, you completed the standard section of this course. Before we can go any further, I will need you to complete one more test outside of the standard testing track. Please refrain from doing those childish gestures while you are out there. We need to find the power station at the end of this course. The humans must have accidentally disconnected it from my grid. I am sure it was just a clerical error. Oh, those clerks. <laughs> You may want to try and avoid those turrets.
You did it. You powered on the system. I'm fully connected. I can see everything. See, nothing bad happened. Excellent. back to the central hub. All test courses are available. You may redundantly solve the courses at your leisure. This final course is training to reach the human vault. So this actually has a purpose. Those other courses were fun, but let's be honest. I need human test subjects for it to be science. Congratulations on completing the test. You two really are the best cooperative testing team I could ever ask for. Are you curious about the humans? It seems some of the last non-testing humans alive tried to secretly imprison other humans and hide their tracks. I think they wanted to punish them by not allowing me to include them in testing. That's why humans couldn't complete these courses. They treat their friends as enemies.
Now you're just wasting my time. This close, and that's what you do? You're making this harder than it needs to be. To start preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. 
The number one request? Less deadly tests. That's ridiculous. How do they know for sure the tests are deadly if they could still write the suggestion? To get to the vault, you are going to need to use all the tricks you have learned. To help, I have made these tests extremely difficult. I would say extremely deadly, but we all know, for you and your amazing ability to be reassembled, nothing is deadly. Your failing does not make this science. Lucky for you two, while I can't control the world outside of the testing courses, the reassembly machine can continue with his work. You will need him for the final track. I didn't mean to make you feel bad earlier about your tests not being real science. I guess finding out they weren't science was some sort of test in and of itself. Congratulations on passing that test. Okay. <laughs> 
wonder if the humans will make a statue of me for rescuing them. 
Oh, don't worry. If they ever write an historical document of my heroic rescue, I will make sure your names are included in the footnotes. While I will receive all the glory for the rescue, don't think you two aren't going to get something. The bond you form during these tests will last a lifetime.
the rate you are completing these tests, I am beginning to think you don't share my excitement for rescuing crying, trapped, injured, dying humans. If that doesn't motivate you, I'm not sure what will. Maybe you two have never met humans. They are as bad as you might think. Smelly, gross, annoying, often wanting to try and kill you. But they do make great test subjects.
If you can't complete these tests, we will never free the humans. Two tests away from reaching the humans. Are you as excited as I am? Only one more test after this. I know your cores are reused from calculation machines, built for simple mathematical operations and not for testing. But if we can rescue the humans, I promise you something to add. Maybe even subtract. <laughs> complete this course, those humans will die. Do you want that?
In case you're worried about the humans, don't be. They aren't all monsters. Most of them are simply good test subjects. I believe the ratio of good test subjects to monsters is about a million to one. The human vault is just past that opening. I entered the security code, but the vault door remains locked. I am going to need you to activate the manual locks on the vault door itself. Stop failing. You need to find the vault door.
Doing that, all you need to do is open the vault door.
I'm starting to think you don't want to rescue the humans. And you're going to fail me?
Something is wrong. This door should be opening. Is that camera hooked into the lock? Try something.
You can't give up now. <laughs> What about that camera? You did it. You did it. You really did it. All your testing was worth it. Just look at all those test subjects. Think of all the testing. You saved science. Not <laughs> Enough celebrating. We have more work to do. Let the science begin. Let's look at their files. Not a team player. Horrible people skills. Never listens. Never shares. Always sleeping. Never on time. Inattentive listener. Awful attendance record. Blabber mouth. Oh, hates Mondays. Incoherent. Insecure Procrastinator Cryptic Chronically late Always sulking Martyr Here's intimacy. Here's conflict. Anxious. Aggressive. I like that. Timid. Feeds off the misery of others. Lacks confidence. Underestimates scope of work. They all do. Moves lips while reading. Can't read. Empathy. Cheater. St 
steals lunch from staff fridge. Perfectionist. What's wrong with that? Alarmist. Takes long lunches. Ignores task at hand. <laughs> Won't for long. Avoids responsibility. Never completes work. Laughs at own jokes. What a bore. Well, enough about that first person's file. Let's look at some others. Back to the central hub. All test courses are available. You may redundantly solve the courses at your leisure.